Hello and welcome to Wildcat Action News. I'm Priya. And I'm Izzy. This week we're starting out with our top story. Let's send it to Leah and Janisha with the story. Over the past couple of weeks, Wildcats have been taking their January star test in order to see their improvement so far this school year in math and reading. Each year, Wilder Rate recognizes the students who have the highest SGP scores in each grade level. Last week, this year's winners were announced. We spoke with Mrs. Berg about what the SGP is and to some of the year's SGP winners. Mrs. Berg, could you tell us about the SGP winners? Of course. Our SGP winners are determined by the STAR program. Students take a STAR in the fall and then a STAR in the winter, and the children who show the most growth in reading and math are then recognized. And usually what we do um, for those students is um, I'll print a certificate, certificate for them. Uh, of course, we shared them on the morning announcements. And then they will also get called to the office and they get to call someone in their family to tell them the great news. And then later in the week, we'll come together for lunch and have a special treat. So we want to recognize the Wildcats because they have met our expectations of being, um, of course, all of the expectations, because obviously if you're learning that much, you are safe, you are kind, you're respectful, and you're especially responsible because you are making the most of your learning. How did you improve in your star scores? I practiced my reading almost every day. How did you improve on your test? Well, I've been practicing math a lot, and that's probably mainly what got what helped me get through it. How did you feel when you were on the announcements? Uh, it felt good, never expected it, and I'm happy about it. How did you improve on your test? I improved on my test because every night my mom and dad would yell at me because I wouldn't read. So then they made me read my brother's books that are really hard, so now I can read at his level for reading. How'd you feel when you got announced? Well, I was really proud of myself. I didn't really expect me to be announced, but otherwise I'm pretty proud of myself. How did you improve in your tests? Um, I just read a lot from when I saw my last score. I just started reading a lot more to improve. Congratulations to all the Wildcats who are recognized for their accomplishments on their star tests. These Wildcats are a great example of responsible learners here at Wilder Way. For all Connection News, I'm Leah. And I'm Janisha. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Thanks, Leah and Janisha. Now let's go to this week's Staff Spotlight. Hello, I'm Lucas. And I'm Ahmed. Today we are here with Mrs. Hirsch for Staff Spotlight. How long have you been teaching at Wilder Waite? Well, I've been teaching at Wilder Waite for only three years, but I've been teaching uh, for about the last 22 years so far in various grade levels. What do you like most about teaching? Oh, I love teaching. Um, kids, especially the elementary grade level. Um, I just love watching them learn and grow. What is your favorite book? Oh, uh, the, my favorite book that I've read recently was the book Wish. My students, I just finished reading that. It was a fabulous book by Barbara O'Connor. I highly recommend you read that if you haven't read it already. What is your favorite food to eat? That is a really hard one, but I guess I will have to say pizza. What is your favorite hobby? Oh, recently we've started playing pickleball. I love it. It's so fun and competitive. Um, and we also got a new little kitty. Uh, it's a munchkin cat, so we love playing with our cat, Carl. Where do you like to go on vacation? Oh, that's easy. Vero Beach, Florida. We go there every Christmas and every spring break. I love it. Thank you, Mrs. Hirsch, for joining us this week on Staff Spotlight. Thank you, it was my pleasure. Let's send it back up to the newsroom.
It's time for another episode of... This has been... Let's bring in Chef... Wait! There's some breaking news! Let's go see Leah for the breaking news! I'm Leah and I'm down here in the cafeteria and as you can see, well... The whole cafeteria has been turned into cats. This has got to end. The witch has struck again. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Oh my goodness, we'll keep an eye on the situation. Let's bring in Chef Minders and Chef Smith for this week's lunch menu. Hi Wildcats, I've been making some great food this week. But I still can't find Chef Smith. Help. Wait, what was that? As I was saying, I heard it again. Let's just go to the lunch menu. On Monday, we are having chicken patty. On Tuesday, we are having nachos grande. On Wednesday, we are having chicken nuggets. On Thursday, we are having beef chili. On Friday, we are having cheese pizza. I can't find Chef Smith anywhere. I think it's time to call my good friend, Detective Kernberry. Now it's time for the weather report from 5A. Let's go there now. The Weekly Forecast, presented by 5A. Hello everyone, I'm Madison. And I'm Claire, here with the 5A weather team. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. After a cold week in Wildcats, we will be ready for a warm-up. Expect temperatures early this week to have highs in the mid-30s and lows around 20 with plenty of sunshine. The end of the week will also be sunny with a high around 30s. I'm glad we don't have any more snow, but those snow days were sure fun. For weather, I'm Madison. And I'm Claire. See you next week. Thanks, weather team. It's time for this week's Good News Report from 5A. Hello, this is 5A's Good News crew. We have some good news and some bad news this week. The good news is Alice is back. The bad news is Aaron is still a cat and will probably be a cat for the rest of the year. But we are still on the lookout for Wildcats who are meeting our four school expectations. Safe, respectful, kind, and responsible. Let's go see who we can find meeting these expectations. Wow, Alice, look at all these kids that have had the most growth in math. That's so cool. How did you meet this goal? I met this goal by practicing and doing freckle every day. And how did you meet this goal? I met this goal by practicing freckle, extra math, and get, getting help from my teacher. And Aaron, how did you meet this goal? Okay then. For Good News Crew, I'm Chloe. And I'm Alice. Will we catch you being great? It's time for the quick quiz. Can you get the answer?
Let's go to this week's Joke of the Week, brought to you by 5-H. What do you call a bagel that flies? A plain bagel. Now let's send it to Audit and Ashaw to find out the winner of last week's news quiz competition. Hello, Alcats. This week's news quiz winner is Adia from 3W. She'll be receiving a small candy prize and a certificate. Keep filling out the news quiz and you could be a winner next week. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on Wildcat Action News. Joe Burrows and the Cincinnati Bengals. Pick one. Yeah.